Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Anu's Hobby Lobby. In this video, I am sharing a very quick recipe using air fryer and instant pot as well. So this is corn rice. So as I promised in my earlier video where I shared cauliflower 65, I am sharing the corn rice recipe which is very easy. It's perfect for the dinners or lunch box as well. So I am taking one cup of basmati rice here. So using instant pot, I am adding one cup of rice uh, to one cup of water and on pressure cook mode or rice mode you can use uh, for 6 minutes so you can see how fluffy the rice is made. The next step is uh, we will be taking the scanned uh, corn. So this is a baby corn which is already cut. So sometimes you'll be uh, getting a whole baby, baby corn or uh, maybe the cut ones as well. So this time I had uh, this uh, a canned one which was already cut. So I just uh, strained the water from the can and then added uh, into another bowl. Add enough water and salt and microwave it for a couple of minutes or you can just boil it for four to five minutes on stuff top as well. So once it is slightly tender, we'll be taking into a bowl. Add uh, a tablespoon of rice flour, two tablespoons of uh, corn starch or corn flour and then we'll be adding all the masalas here. Like I have added a teaspoon of red chili powder, half teaspoon of dhania powder, one four teaspoon of jeera powder and also a garam masala, one four teaspoon as well. Add one four teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and a tablespoon of oil as well. So just check the taste and if needed, you can add uh, salt and red chili powder later at the, at the point. And uh, once you add in everything, mix it properly. Just use uh, a spoon of water to mix it. Do not add a lot of water. will be transferring into an air fryer tray. I have used the parchment paper here so just apply some oil on the parchment paper as well as on top of the corn and then you can air fry it uh, at 350 Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes or the temperature and uh, time depends on your individual air fryer settings as well. So once uh, it is done you take it out and uh, keep it aside and the next step is we'll be taking a wok and uh, a large wok which I have taken which is very easy to mix the rice or any uh, like uh, like if I make Hakka noodles or uh, any of this fried rice or uh, corn rice, I usually prefer the large ones uh, so that uh, it is it will be easier to mix and also the rice will not break. So uh, the uh, so firstly we'll be taking two tablespoons of olive oil into this and add uh, chopped garlic. So the garlic you need to add a lot, like uh, at least uh, the one full clove of uh, garlic uh, should be good. So just chop it uh, very finely and add it in the hot oil and then also add uh, green chilies just uh, cut into small pieces and add as per your spiciness you can add the chilies and then we'll be adding uh, uh, all this corn and uh, also rice uh, at this point we'll be adding a teaspoon of soy sauce as well as a teaspoon of uh, white distilled vinegar and then add salt pepper mix it very well gently once uh, the heat is applied all over and uh, mixed properly you can just leave it for another couple of minutes and this is ready to serve this is very simple and you can have it with manchurian or cauliflower 65 which i have shared this recipe earlier on my channel so if you haven't watched it i'll be leaving the uh, link in the description you can always check it out uh, thank you very much for watching if you like this recipe please keep sharing and uh, do leave a comment subscribe to my channel i'll be meeting you all in my next video until then take care Bye-bye.